So I just received my order of C8 oil or caprylic acid and I'm going to test it to see how it influences my blood ketones. So I've done similar tests with MCT oil and with coconut oil and they haven't been so successful. You can check them out on the channel. So I had a meal today that was uh, very low in carbohydrates and it was like 2 grams of total carbohydrates and it was about 5 hours ago. So uh, right now I'm going to check my blood glucose and blood ketones. Then I'm going to have 15 milliliters of C8 oil with uh, some unsweetened almond milk which is zero carbohydrates and it shouldn't influence the test. And then I'm going to wait for about 30 minutes to one hour and check the blood glucose and blood ketones again. So let's see how it goes. So we're checking the blood glucose first. Right, let's see. Sixty six. So I guess we should see some higher ketones, but that's just an assumption. Let's now see the ketones. I'm going to use the same blood. the same pricking two point four wow okay so it's gonna be hard I guess to top this so now let's have the uh, C8 oil okay so I'm using keto source pure C8 MCT oil and this is the unsweetened almond milk so, I'm not sure if you can see this. So, these are the macros. Okay, so 15 milliliters of almond milk. So, 54 and 15 milliliters of C8 oil. So let's see. Okay. Okay, so down the hatch it goes. All right, I'll see you in a bit. So it's been about an hour since I took the C8 oil. Now let's test again. I have no freaking clue how this is gonna look like, so let's see. First we're gonna do the blood glucose again. What do you guys think? So 60, blood glucose went down. Wow. 
let's now see the ketones. So blood ketones should have gone up. But there's only one way to find out. Okay, so the moment of the truth. So not even an inch. Didn't see that coming. Okay, so uh, I'm actually not really surprised of the result. I'm not sure if I was expecting uh, like 3.5 blood ketone levels because um, I think that to start off my baseline levels were pretty high if we talk about nutritional ketosis and I wasn't in a fasted state so I had a meal like six hours ago which was about I don't know four to six or 700 calories so um, the baseline levels were pretty high so I don't think there was uh, too much room for increase or for an improvement uh, in blood ketone levels but there was a slight effect in blood glucose so uh, we saw a small decrease from 66 to 60 so I don't know let's see uh, I'll try and test again in the morning So I'm 11 hours fasted, um, it's the morning, my blood glucose should be um, high since it's the morning and uh, my blood ketones should be at its lowest, so we should have some values to work with, uh, but let's see, so baseline levels. So blood glucose first. So right now I'm in the fasted state, like I said, 74. All right now let's see the baseline ketones. I'm expecting them to be in the one millimolar range. And if I take the C8 oil, maybe we can see some, some changes. 2.4 was pretty high to to work with. Now let's see the morning ketones. Is it 1? 1. 1.2? 2.0? Dang. So now I'm going to pour 50 milliliters of almond milk. And about one tablespoon, so 15 milliliters of C8 oil. Or a little over a tablespoon, but I'm going to try not to spill it like I did last night. Here we go. See you in an hour. 
All right, so it's been a little over an hour. So let's see where we're at. So glucose first. What was it? 74, 76, 81. So higher blood glucose. Let's see the ketones now. Did they go down? Well, they were 2.0. So I really don't know what to expect. But we'll know in five, four, three, two point five. So what do I actually make out of this? Well, first of all, like I said, my baseline levels, my baseline ketone levels were very high to start with. So in the first test, we didn't see too much of a difference. I mean, there was no difference in blood ketones. Uh, but we saw an increase of 0.5 millimolar after one hour of taking the C8 oil in the second test this morning. So there is a, I could say there is an effect. In the first test, we saw a decrease in blood glucose, while in the second one, we saw a slight increase. So I guess it works, uh, but I think I would see uh, more like, uh, pronounced results if I were like 0.5 or 0.3 millimolars per uh, liter to start with so if my blood ketones were lower I could have probably seen a um, bigger result or a bigger change pre and post uh, consuming the C8 oil so I'm not uh, actually negating any of the effects the oil has because C8 rapidly converts to ketones in the body so since I've already had ketones in the circulation, high ketones and I was last night, I, was, uh, I wasn't actually fasted there wasn't a difference in, in the levels now, in terms of uh, subjective experience of the effects of the C8 oil, I did actually feel a um, higher cognitive benefit of this compared to uh, the MCT oil or even compared to coconut oil. But I guess these effects would actually be felt like more intense by someone who starts with uh, very low ketones or who want to jumpstart ketosis. I guess I'll keep uh, trying to see how it works for me, mostly in terms of uh, subjective experience uh, with regards to my cognition, um, rather than actually trying to see if uh, it boosts my ketone levels because it's kind of expensive to keep pricking yourself and uh, using those ketone strips anyway uh, that's it for this video thank you for watching